Hey, welcome back to BitSquid. On this channel, we simplify educational tech. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use AI power, that's artificial intelligence, to transcribe your Google Meet calls in real time. Using a Chrome extension. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and um, go to the Chrome um, web store. Okay, so go to the Chrome web store. Uh, and then from there, you want to type in um, otter.ai. So let's go here and type in otter.ai. And then this is the official this is the official um, Chrome extension. Okay, this isn't a third party. This is an official otter.ai uh, extension. Go ahead and install this. Once you've installed it, okay, it should come up at, um, in this little, um, what do you call this? Uh, puzzle, little, um, I don't even what you call it, the little puzzle thing. And so you'll have your otter.ai here, the Chrome extension. So as usual, what you want to do is go ahead and um, go to your Google Meet. Okay, just start a meeting as usual. Whether it's a scheduled meeting or it's a new meeting that you're starting. Uh, here we go, we're going to get started with the meeting. Google Meet does have its own live captions, but the live captions, the issue with the live captions is that's what they are. They're just live captions. You can't do nothing after the fact. Yeah, once the meeting's done, those captions are gone. They're not transcribed anywhere. Now, with otter.ai, create a free otter.ai account. Okay, just go to otter.ai and create a free account. And so now here we are. Look, our meeting is live, isn't it? We can turn on captions. These are Google's own captions. Okay, it's going to start transcribing here, our captions. The issue with this is that's it. Once you close the meeting, these are gone. Okay, you don't have any captions. The benefit with otter.ai is that the captions that it creates, you can edit and share and even collaborate with other users after the fact, you know, after the meeting's done, we can still collaborate with the members. Now, the benefit of using this is it reduces miscommunication, especially with uh, speakers that are not non-native English speakers. So they can actually look at the meeting notes, the transcribed uh, meeting notes. Okay. Uh, and so it reduces any miscommunication in business, in online lessons, tutoring or whatever it may be that you're using it for. Let's go ahead. Let me show you how we use uh, otter.ai. So if I click on my, um, this puzzle for the Chrome extensions and I click on this one here, otter.ai, it's going to uh, create this little floating widget. Here we go. Look, and it says um, record. It says microphone audio. Okay, microphone audio. The great thing with this is when you sign into Otter the AI, yeah. Can you see here? It says share to Otter groups. You can create groups in your Otter account. I look, I've created a group here, staff group one. Okay. Before I start recording here, let me go to Otter the AI and show you. Okay. I'm going to show you. I'm going to create a new group. So let's go to Otter the AI. Now you should do this before obviously you started the meeting, but just for the tutorial, I'm going to show you, I've logged in here and I could go now to my groups. Okay. On, you can see here on the left hand column here, click on add, we could create a group. Okay. So let's just call it, um, YouTube group. Okay. Maybe doing a training session. Okay. YouTube training group or whatever it's called. And then I can invite all of my um, email addresses here. So all the participants that I want to collaborate and share these notes with, maybe the participants to that meeting. Okay. I'm going to add all of the emails here. Okay. For example, bid squared, whatever group, let's go ahead and create. Okay. So now a third group is created here. Watch this. Yeah. If I go to Otto, the, uh, if I go to my meeting now, and you'll see now when I go to my group conversations, I've got a third group here, the YouTube group. So I want to share this with the YouTube group. Okay. Whoever, whatever emails are in there, this, uh, the transcriptions are going to be shared with them. Okay. So let me go ahead and start recording. My micro, my microphone audio is on. I'm going to start recording. Now we've got a couple of options here. The brilliant thing is it organizes your, uh, transcription under the Google Meet. So if I go back to Otter, uh, dot AI, you can see here, look, my conversations, my conversations are recorded. It records, this is live by the way. So it's recording Google Meet Saturday, January 23rd and the time. What's brilliant about this is it timestamps everything. Now, if I want to pause, let's say for example, we're going off on a break. Okay. Or we're doing a presentation and I don't need to transcribe any of the presentation notes because we're going to share out the presentation. I'll go ahead and pause this. Okay. So now my 
um, auto the AI transcription is now paused. Okay, it's paused. I've got it on, on pause. I can put on captions on my screen so I can, I can actually see the live uh, captions here. Okay, and I can also go ahead and change the size of this. I can, if I've got an impairment, uh, maybe it's not clear enough, I can make this larger or smaller. Uh, what else? We can scroll here. So I've paused this right now, but we can scroll here. We can move this around as well. So we can move this wherever we want to move it. So if I want to move it on this side because I want to start the activities or I want to look at the chat, I can move that um, this around. Let's go back and put it where it was. Now, I made a tutorial on otter.ai previously using the iPad, okay? Otter.ai is very intelligent. So if you have, you know, multiple speakers, um, it will try to identify who's speaking and then you can later on after the fact you can go and edit the speaker's names and it would add the speaker names to that transcription as well so if i go back so i can open this live i can go straight to auto and see this i've already signed in anyway so look uh youtube group there's one that i'm sharing out right now it's still going live look at this it's still going live this is my live transcription okay this is a live presentation. And while I'm doing this live presentation, I could do a couple of things after the fact and as well as um, live as well, is I could go and search for keywords, okay, while I'm doing this. And this is indicated as live, look. While we're doing this, one person, whoever the, the minute taker is in the meeting, they can go ahead and start editing this if they wanted to. We can edit the title. We can look for um, certain keywords. So if I clicked on brilliant, it will highlight where I said brilliant so many times, okay. I've said it twice only, that's good. So there are many options here with otter.ai. I'm gonna go ahead and pause and then stop that recording. Okay, it says saved audio transcription in your Otter account. Now, this is currently absolutely for free. This is the basic account, okay? There's a limited, um, you have limited minutes, okay, in your quota on a basic account. You can get a pro account and I think you, there's, there's three levels of accounts that you can have. So the company has said that they have recorded up until now uh, 100 million meetings and 300 billion minutes of uh, transcription. So, I mean, this is a crazy resource that you could use. If you find it useful, then give it a try. It's absolutely free. As always, thank you for watching. If you found that helpful, then give me a thumbs up and share it with a colleague that you feel that it may help. Uh, of course, if you're interested in more EdTech tutorials, then consider subscribing. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.